The solar plexus. Okay, people say about throwing punches to the chin and everything like that. Bang, 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 bang. Not going to matter. Everything's great. But there's also consequences. If I bang him on the nose and he decides to go to the old bill, with cameras and everything as you can see, they get out quickly. You, you can see all the problems that you cause them. Yeah? The solar plexus in the middle of the body. It's one of the best things you can do. You can drop them very quickly. Whether it's a knuckle, whether it's a flat fist, whether it's your fingers, whether it's your thumb. I always like using the thumb. But for this purpose, quick punch. Now, it's quite muscly guy, so he's got muscle cover in his chest, but there's still a gap there, which is your solar plexus, okay? Remember, it's called a xiphoid process. I don't know why I don't even ask me anything like that. But, now to hit up is okay. All right, it'll take the sternum to design to take a lot of position. But if you hit it with a slight upward movement, you're causing, at the very least, moving him away. So what I always tell you about fighting quickly, if you can move him away, you've got somewhere to get away. Yeah, you don't do it. Because they're gonna bang you and knock you out. Yeah? So I'm not gonna do it too hard, but just for, for the, not for you or anything like that, <laughs> just to show you a little bit down. So if you're in a little bit of a rap and bull, you know you're going to get some kind of damage from that person. You know he's going to go back and think twice about coming forward. He's got a belly full of food, it's normally going to come out beside him. Right? It's not me making it up, it's not me reading it from somewhere, it's me, I've used it a lot. And it does do that. Yeah? In here, you can't be 100% aggressive, because the last time you're going to be doing is making each other sick, and making each other not want to train with each other. But you've got to understand that that does feel a little bit uncomfortable, that doesn't feel right. So you've got to be able to get yourself in positions where you get into these positions and bang, you can use that. Or just even just the elbow coming in. But that's a nice target. Rather than just headhunt all the time. Because if I get too close and I'm tying him up from here, and we're getting tied up like this, and his head decides he's going to lean back. Yes, he's got the bad balance and you can do things, but his head's out of the way. Could, it's never going to stay still when you fight. It's the reality. That will, no matter how much he moves his head, like watch. If we twist and you still get to the body. So remember that. Yeah? yeah. Also remember, we start with the wing chun guard. The reality is this is the distance of fighting. It becomes maybe an argument from here, deciding what you're going to do, dog eat dog, who's going to throw the first, who's not going to throw the first, what you're going to do. So just bang! And it's done. Yeah? You've got the first, you then follow up, you'll fence out. Not bang, look at that, look at me, and then everyone pile on me and punch me in. It's do what you've got to do. Yeah, but that's a nicer target, it's a bigger target, causes lots of damage. And if you can't breathe, you panic in a fight. Remember that. Any questions on it? No. Good. Cheers, my man. Thank you.